every year now with Victorinox here at Wilderness, we really build the momentum. And what we found is that the response for the workshops has really been incredible. I think working with makers is just so close to the heart for Victorinox anyway. It's such a history, of course, of uh, a product that everyone has always had that emotional attachment to making, to doing. There's a lot of people learning. There's a lot of people asking questions. There's a lot of people engaging in craft. There's a really a lot of excitement happening. Um, I think that it's really complimentary to the festival at Wilderness. People are enjoying sitting down together and actually making something as it sort of feels like a team almost, even though they're all making their own individual thing, but everyone's helping each other out. Start with nothing, start with a simple sheet of paper and make something 3D at the end of it that you get to take home. Today I make uh, pocket knife saxophones. I think it's important uh, for, for children and also for adults that um, they can make good toys out of nothing. Only with a pocket knife and natural materials. This afternoon I did a 21st century orienteering treasure hunt. So we've been running around the site with a load of people. Uh, finding different waypoints uh, and clues to take us to the next waypoint. Uh, it's really good fun. And then this evening we've been having a fireside chat, a really informal questions and answers session with uh, all sorts of people here. We had some young children, we had teenagers, we had adults. It was, it was really good fun. I've been invited to Wilderness to curate a screening programme exploring this um, theme of the digital artisan. I always love coming here with Victorian Arts. I think that um, Victorian Arts put on the best show here. The wonderful thing is, it's kind of we've got this sort of wonderful kind of melting pot and meeting spot for all the creative people who have come to the festival to enjoy it, but with Victorian Arts as its crux.